All right. Yeah. So yeah, like like I said, you know, to sum that up, that's exactly how I know DMX because we both had the same manager before we both had a deal. Gotcha. Word gotcha. Up. And and Jack McNasty was shopping both of us. He was shopping. He shot both of us. Okay. I just was the one who got a deal before DMX. And trust me, when I got my my deal, I looked out for X. I came to Yonkers and Limousines and picked DMX up. Just X. He wanted a lot of people to come with him. I was like, no, I don't know them dudes, X. And you know what I mean? And I already know what he was doing. He was doing a lot of stuff that I wasn't doing. You heard? Mm -hmm. But I used to, I used to scoop X and take care of X. When I had my deal, when I, you know what I mean? When I when I when I was when I had money like that, you know what I mean? Limousines and shit like that, and hotels and all, you know, just just per diem. I was living off, you know, and, and per diem and shit like that. Now, I always took care of X. He know that. Like, even when he got on, I always had X's number. You know what I mean? I could always go to his house, hang out with him, his girl. You know what I mean? For real. You know what I mean? I was, I, I was close to X. You know right. I mean? He wrote about it in his book. He wrote about it in his book. Word so, up. Read his book. You'll, you'll, you'll see it. So was that uh, deal that you ended up getting first? Was that with New Image Records? Yes, New Image Records. That was for ten thousand dollars. But let me tell you, a brother from the projects getting ten thousand dollars. You know what I mean? That was a lot of money back then, brother. I mean, just especially for me, just spitting some damn lyrics. <laughs> you know, it, it was a it was a blessing. <laughs> Word up! I did I did an EP. It had a uh, Who the Hell Am I on it on it and um Northbound Renegade and Let Me Breathe, produced by Tony Dofat. Tony Dofat, he the man. Tony Dofat, he worked for Atlanta right now. I just got back in touch with him. I ain't talked to him in like 25 years. You know wow. I mean, I've been doing my own thing. But yeah, yeah, that, that was my first record um contract. My first, it was a minor. It wasn't a major. It was a minor, minor record label. You know what I mean? On an indie, independent. Right. So what was, what was that reaction like when that EP hit the streets? Well, that was the first time I ever heard myself on the radio. And when I tell you the first time that you hear yourself on the radio, you want everyone to know about that. You want everyone to know. I was in my car driving. And when I tell you, I literally stopped traffic. Turned my shit top side, got on my, my hood, like, puppy hoop down. And like, I'm on the radio. Yo, tell your daddy, tell your boy, tell your puppy up right now. Puppy up, puppy up, puppy, puppy. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I got three minutes. Puppy, puppy. I stopped traffic. You know what I mean? I had the traffic going. Okay? I mean, I'm wilding out. Word up. I mean, man, it was, there's no feeling like that. First time you hear yourself on the radio, man, especially on a, on a real radio station. I don't underground radio station on a major radio late or the radio or the real, real radio station that everybody listened to. Your mama, your damn brother listened to us. Word up. I mean, that was the first one. That came out in like 92. You know what I mean? Or who the hell am I joining? That's when I was doing shows. I did shows with like um like um Laura Finesse back then, nice and smooth. You know what I'm saying? I I was I got real to me and Lord, like being nice and smooth did like probably like five shows back then. You know what I'm saying? They were still on the up and coming up too back then. This is before they even got big. You see what I mean? I, I used to mess with a lot of people who saw in the up the up coming, like you know what I mean? Right. Be at the right places at the right time and stuff like that. And when I said Tony Dofat did um a lot of DMX's stuff in the beginning. Um, Biggie Smalls used to come in that same studio with Tony Dofat, Jesse West, the Third Eye Cipher. If you look at their stuff, um, that was produced by um, Tony Dofat. If you ever hear Puff Daddy say um, Third Eye Cipher, that's Jesse West. That whole click, that's Third Eye Cipher. I, I was a part of that cipher, you know what I mean? I used to be in that cipher a lot with the freaky deaky styles off the top most of the time, but I had a lot of stuff <laughs> memorized, you know what I mean? Right. But, uh, yeah. <laughs> so, yeah. was the unsigned hype before that uh, EP, or after the EP? That unsigned hype, what should we think now? I want to miseducate people. Let me think now. Yes, that unsigned hype came after, because I still really, I didn't really signed to them to that record label was an indie it was more of a money a monetary thing it was like yo i'm gonna give y'all three songs y'all gonna give me 10 grand and i don't care what y'all do with it you heard i don't i don't want to make a penny off of it i know y'all gonna rob me for my publishing off rip anyway give me probably one or two points just for some guy you know what i mean i already know they're gonna rob. give me 10 grand cash right. three songs you can have it that's what that was about 
I just want that money. Got that 10 grand. You already know what that what happened with that. That could have got flipped multiple times. You know? Right. Um, but um, yeah, then after that, like I said, I was still hustling. Like, you know, I, I Jack McNasty was still shopping me. You know, that was just a monetary deal. He was still shopping me, and then I got the um unsigned height deal in the source magazine. Um, that was from me and I'm telling you, me and DMX used to go around to different boroughs and battle people, man. We used to literally battle anybody who said that dude knew how to rap. We used to go to we see some brick brick buildings. There's some brick buildings right there. Somebody think they know how to rap in these in these projects here. We used to we used to come through with the um with the with the boom box with the instrumental beats, man. For real. On tape. On tape. Mm. Most of the time it was, you know, or that's what it was. It was on tape, brother. Right. Exactly. Was 